we're going to look at the threes. So once you figure out your threes, using the doubling strategy makes doing this math super easy. So now let's look at the threes. Adding by threes means you're taking the number and increasing it by three. In this case, we are starting with three and adding three, and then adding three more, and so on. Well, what do you notice? What do you wonder? Is there a pattern or a rule we could apply? Once we have figured out all our threes, let's look at the strategy of doubling. Doubling is an easy addition process, and doubling means taking a number and adding it to itself. For example, if you have the number three and you want to double it, you would do this. Start with the number three and add it to itself, which is three plus three. And this gives you six. So doubling three means you get six. That means the next set of numbers that we're going to figure out are going to be the sixes. So now looking at the threes, we doubled those to get our sixes. And now you can see like three doubled is six. Six doubled is 12. Nine doubled is 18. 12 doubled is 24 and so on. That's how we get our sixes. Can we double our sixes? Yes, we can. And we will double it to get our 12s. So we would start with the number six and add it to itself. So six plus six will give me 12. What will 12 plus 12 give me? It's gonna give me 24, right? So I'm just gonna go down my sixes and I'm gonna double every number and put it in over on the 12s row. And as I do this, do you notice a pattern? Is there any kind of a rule that I can apply? Wow, look what happened as, as I doubled my sixes. I got all my 12s. That's awesome. And I still haven't done any multiplication. I've just been doing addition. What number do you think we're gonna look at next? That's right, it's gonna be the number five.